<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, here on Ebro in the morning, you know, I lock in with my man Jay or his wife, Carmen uh, Perez, uh, over there at the Gathering for Justice. And we're raising some funds, but getting people in shape is the work it out challenge. Now, I wouldn't advise y'all working out with either of these two brothers. Uh, last time I seen Jay at the gym, he was had like three plates on and was doing 20 reps like it wasn't nothing. So I wouldn't advise y'all trying to hang. And, and what's your name, sir? You said 201 Ja? 201 Ja, yeah. And, sir, I seen you in the gym with Jay, so I'm not playing with you either, man. I don't know what y'all, what type of workout y'all doing. But for everyone else, Jay, what can they do? What, what's the challenge here? And what are we asking people to do today? Yeah, so the Work It Out Challenge really is raising awareness about something called crossover youth. Mm. It's the foster care system. A couple of stats that I want to let folks know about the foster care system. There's about 600,000 youth in the foster care system right now. Mm. And it's kind of equal in terms of race, so it's not really like a race thing. It's black, white, Latino, um, 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 Asian, Pacific Islander. How they get into the system is devastating, right? About like 60% is abuse or neglect, right? About 40% because the parents had an addiction problem. About 12% because of physical abuse or parents go to jail or prison. They spend about 12 to 20 months in the foster care system. And the problem with this is what happens afterwards, right, Ebro? Foster care youth are four times more likely to commit suicide. Wow. About 20% of the prison population in America right now com is comprised of former foster youth. Half of the um, kids who leave the foster care system develop some sort of substance abuse issue, and about 70% are arrested by the age of 26. It gets worse, Ebro. About 80% of these kids um, suffer significant mental health issues, and former foster youth are twice as likely to develop PTSD than war veterans. You know, about yeah. one fifth of them are homeless before they're 18, 70% right. of females. Um, are pregnant before their 21st birthday. 60% of child trafficking victims have a history of being in the foster care system, and about half of them never graduate high school. Mm. And so the outcomes of foster care youth are devastating in America, and it's not sexy thing to talk about. It's not fun to talk about, but we're talking about 600,000 youth cycling in and out this system every single year. So if you date back 20 years, that's 12 million adults now. Right. that are dealing with this. And so what the Work It Out Challenge is doing is bringing awareness to this by promoting health and fit and lifestyles. That's right. One way we know we can disrupt that is instead of going to the streets, hanging out with the wrong crowd, do what Ja did. You know, Ja was a foster care youth in North Jersey, right? So instead of going to the streets and getting locked up, you know, by the grace of God, he found basketball, he found fitness, and he started working out. And so we want to promote fit and healthy lifestyle because what these kids are seeing every day on Instagram, on the TikTok, you know, on the streets is like, you know, not the stuff they need nah, to be it's seeing. It's chaotic. It's toxic. It's, it's, 100%. uh, and it's also, it's also, um, it's also just indicative of a society that's accustomed to throwing away people. Right. Yep. Like that's one of the things I think, you know, when I hear those stats, right. I think we, and I don't think people really process how many people we are willing to throw away for our own capitalistic, selfish kind of uh, endeavors, right? We ignore, we step over people on the street. We ignore problems. You know, even right now where you, you know, politically, you know, you often see uh, people acting as if the mental health crisis that's going on in America has something to do with whether you vote Democrat or Republican. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where it's like that, uh, that has yeah. something to do with us as a culture yeah, and how and, and, the, and, the, and the way we are addressing or not addressing humanity and individuals and what's needed to help them uh, sustain and, may, and even and maintain. Right. Yeah. And something that is actually uh, sustainable. So um, 201 job, man. So listen, bro, uh, proud of you, man. This is a phenomenal story, man. Like be, being able to take, you know, uh, some some beginnings that were are definitely not something you did to yourself. It wasn't a it wasn't a, a life that you were were chose. It was something that was handed to you, but you turned it in and, and made your own choices. Talk about I'd love to hear from you what it took for you to actually realize this is what I got to do to make sure that my head is focused and my life is on the right path. 
I mean, growing up, my mom passed away, so I went with my dad. And then when I went with my dad, he got locked up. So I went in the, in the um, foster care system. And I just fell in love with basketball. Basketball just um, helped me. Then I met my coach. My coach will help me navigate things. And I just kept playing basketball. And now I'm doing this gym. And how many times you go to the gym a day, though? Three times. <laughs> He be in the gym, man. He in hey, the gym. Hey, listen. Stay on it, bro. If that helps you stay focused, stay on it. We, I was just having a conversation with somebody earlier today. They was talking about they was making some lifestyle changes. And they wanted to stop eating. So, I mean, little stuff. I want to stop eating sugar. I want to stop drinking as much as I'm drinking. I said to them, so what are you going to do when you have, you know, you want to put that energy towards going to get a snack or drinking, you want to change. You got to put something in its place. That's what yeah. you're doing by going to the gym to make sure that you don't go out and do things you ain't supposed to be doing. I'm taking my ass to the gym. A hundred percent, man. Like, and that's the, that's the thing about job, man. I mean, when he came, when we met, we met in the gym, we mm -hmm. met in the gym. He was like, I'm an artist. You know, he's like, he's a hustler. So he like, listen to my songs. I gave him my number. He started sending me his songs. I'm like, listen, brother, <laughs> I ain't no manager. <laughs> I, mean, I ain't no DJ, brother. But I fuck with the songs, right? And so he sent me a song and I said, have you ever thought about sharing your story, right? Like, have you ever thought about, you know, like promoting something more than just rap, right? And we came up with this plan to, you know, have his platform not just be about you know, women or, you know, it's got to listen, you want to be successful. You got to be more personal than just talking about yeah. all the superficial stuff. Yeah, definitely. They got to know more like that personal lifestyle. That's so right. But they got to feel you though. Like, you know, a lot, of, listen, man, don't be fooled. A lot of these dudes out here rapping, just about rapping, just rapping to be rapping about money and all that. They ain't even got it like that. You know, I'm right. I'll be rapping about my lifestyle going through like, the system. Yeah. Everything, like, I be rapping, I really... That's the powerful through. stuff, man. Yep, yep. And so, so the Working Out Challenge is just that, right? We we cut a track, you know what I mean? And he laid, he laid down the hook, and we want folks to literally take that track. It's on Instagram. It's on TikTok right now. It's Work It Out, and then 201-J-A-H. You can find it. Do the challenge. The goal is to work out anywhere, right? right. Like, if you go to my page, Mr. J. Jordan, you'll see the video. We're working it out. We're working out anywhere. So work out anywhere. Post a hashtag workout challenge or the donate link. We want folks to show that you ain't got to go to the gym to work out. If you if if going to the gym is your excuse, <laughs> then you're just lazy, right? <laughs> you can work out in your home, work out at work, work out anywhere. And, and that's what work it out is, is don't be um, um, uh, uh, discouraged because you can't you know, get a gym membership or can't make it to the gym every day. Like you can work out, you can lead a fit lifestyle. So we got to, we got to get y'all up to the parks, man, in New York too, man. Or even over in Jersey, man, where, you know, cats is in there in the morning. We got job. We got to get you, sure. you and the bartenders uptown. You know yeah, what I mean? So uh, hitting the pull-ups and all that in the park, you know, cause cats ain't got a gym in a lot of neighborhoods. They just go yeah. to the park and hit the bars. That's the workout. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that kind of aesthetic workout. Yeah, man. Hit some bar dips, yeah, hit some pull-ups, push-ups, all that. Take out, you know, you got to take out the, uh, take out the, uh, what, what is it, the bands too, them band workouts, kettlebells and all that. You good to go. You got to get it, man. You got to get it. Like, I mean, and that's what it is. If you, look, if you spend an hour a day working out, right, for the next 10 years, I guarantee you're going to add another, like, year or two on your life. Mm -hmm. Most people don't realize that, man, that working out is just as much mental and spiritual as it is physical. When I started to work out, man, it changed my trajectory in life. I was way more disciplined. I was way more focused. Well, because you got to stay on schedule. You got to, if you you're committed to your schedule. workout, you got to stay on schedule. And it's a flex, too. You can't buy this. You can't, you can't buy what I got. You got to work for what I got. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, can't buy, you can't buy this these pecs and these six apps. You know what I mean? You can't buy this. You got to work for it. And so when you when you show up and, you know, you got a little beef on you, they know that you're working. They know that there's, like, there's some consistency. There's some dedication there. Mm -hmm. I tell people all the time, man, I will choose discipline over motivation every single day. 
Like, I don't want to get up and work out every morning. There's, there's mornings I don't want to work out. I don't care if I drank, you know, the night before. I don't care if my kids kept me up until 2, 3 in the morning, you know what I mean, because they want me to rub their legs with alcohol, whatever it is. Like, nah, I'm going to get up at 5 a.m. <laughs> I'm going to go to that gym. And Carmen knows. She's like, you up already? Yes, because this is I, – I like, like Kobe said, man, I made that – I signed that contract with myself. And I'm not going to break that contract. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing this for 23 years now, working out every single day. I ain't, I ain't going to stop. I ain't going to stop. Listen, uh, 201 Ja, it's a pleasure meeting you, man. Stay on your journey. Jay, always thank you for bringing these, these, uh, these opportunities to our program so that we can keep the community involved and just let people know. Look, because there's a lot of people who tune in and listen, they don't know the, the great work that individuals like yourself are doing on a regular basis, right? Like, there's so much bad stuff going on in the world. We hear a lot of the negative stories, then we hear the positive, and I appreciate you always uh, using our platform to bring us some of the positive work that's going on. So work it out challenge, man. Look it up. Uh, and post yourself working out. I don't care if you're standing in your living room, you know, doing squats with no weight. Look, anyway. you, could, you could do 20 reps of just standing up, getting out of the chair, if that's exactly. your work it out. Exactly. That's the work it out, man. Shout out to the gathering. I mean, I know Ebro, you're a board member. I know Carmen, she runs it. Y'all just do amazing work in the child incarceration. So 100% of the proceeds goes to the gathering for justice to end childhood incarceration. That's why this is so powerful. So again, like the man Ebro said, work it out, post your workout, post the hashtag work, work it out challenge. Like put the song on your video. Don't forget yeah. to put the song on the video. 201 job, work it out challenge. Let's do it. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me, bro. No, man. It's a pleasure meeting you, man. Just, just keep working. Just That's like the much. gym is the same thing, man. And you could apply that to anything. Keep, working keep showing up keep working and also just like working out it's the actual range of motion it's doing it correctly day in and day out that gets the results not just doing it but knowing how to do it correctly and and being disciplined enough to do it correctly time after time after time that's gonna get you the results man it's good seeing y'all